it's a triple rollover with the lottery tonight so rest assured if i win nobody around me is going to be poor i'll just go live in a rich neighborhood Hello again honky tonks, paedophiles, it's not a subject I like talking about. I used to work with these vile disgusting creatures during my last career as a prison officer and I'd be privy to conversations, I'd overhear things I didn't really want to know and you kind of got to know how these things worked, why they did it and what I gathered is from my experience they are conniving, they're clever and they're very, very selfish. They're too selfish to do the right thing. Sure, many of them do commit suicide. I, I would love to tell you <laughs> what I'd like to do to these people. I'm a parent, but you shouldn't have to be a parent to know that paedophilia is wrong and it needs to be eradicated. It really does, because you can't cure them. It's something they want to do over and over again. I've seen many come to prison, do their time, go out on bail, do the same thing again, and they're back in, it's a revolving door. No amount of therapy, anything will cure them. They are out to get kids to satisfy their, deprav their depravity, their, their sick needs, and, and that's that. I, I've never known one to be cured, have you? There we go. But Jeffrey Epstein's mate has just been found dead, hanging in his cell in France. He was awaiting trial because allegedly he was the guy who got the underage girls and shipped them over to Epstein's infamous island. Now, I don't believe he hung himself simply because my experience working with these monsters, they're too selfish to do so. They want to do it over and over again. These people look like you and me. They look like normal people you would see walking on the streets. They don't have a certain caricature about them, sadly. You, you never know what's going through someone's mind. And I always remember my old RSM, Regimental Sergeant Major, telling me, Court Parry says, inside, everyone you know is a person you don't. And that's so true. But back to this Epstein thing. Now, this whole story is getting murkier and murkier. And somebody, somewhere involved in all this, is covering up their tracks. This guy has allegedly hung himself in his uh, cell in a French prison. And it's just come out that the CCTV wasn't working. Where have you heard that before? Jeffrey Epstein hung himself in his cell. The two guards went there, um, they went for a break or something, and the CCTV wasn't working. However, Ghislaine Maxwell, they kept an eagle eye on her. She survived, she's still alive. She went on trial, found guilty. Um, has she been sentenced? I can't remember, but she's still in prison and will be for a long, long time to come. But her court case file has been sealed by the judge, which is very, very unusual. And the reason being, I believe, is that there's a massive network. There are powerful people behind this, running this, financing this, um, being pleasured by this. Oh, uh, it sounds sick. I feel sick just saying that. And they're covering up their tracks. I don't think Epstein killed himself. I don't think his French mate killed himself. Is Ghislaine uh, Maxwell next? Who knows? And I'm telling you, there's a vast network of this going on because I've dealt with them in prison. I've been on trial with these vile, inhuman uh, creatures. And it's come out that there are, there's massive gangs. There are gangs of pedophiles. And it's, and it's not just Islamic grooming gangs, gangs. There are white people, there are black people. Every race is involved in this disgusting trade of young kids. I remember one gang operated from a carpet warehouse in Basingstoke and there were thousands of them and it operated from this warehouse, this particular warehouse and they didn't even catch all of them, just a handful. Another guy uh, I was on, I was sat on trial with, I think it was Winchester Crown Court at the time and I'm not sure if he was found guilty when I was with him or he was being sentenced but he kept shouting at the judge I'm innocent, I've been framed, because he had the highest level of child pornography pictures on his computer. And he said that over and over, he was on the dark web to unmask and expose Nazis and fascists. Go figure. But it would be interesting just to 
keep an eye on the news regarding this. I know I tell you to keep away from the news and the mainstream media because they lie. But when they say stuff like this out, and there's not even a hint of irony when they're saying it, but it always has been found dead in a cell. Suicide. Uh, Epstein, suicide. It'll always be suicide. They always come to that conclusion immediately that it's suicide. But in my opinion, I don't think it is. Somebody wanted these people to keep their mouths shut. And the only way to do that is that dead men tell no tales. And I didn't even know he had an associate in a French prison. Did you? It's almost as if the mainstream media wanted you to know this for some reason. What that reason is? Uh, <laughs> make your own mind up. But it doesn't take Sherlock Holmes to realise that there is other people, or there are other people behind this. They don't want to be revealed, and they're prepared to go to any lengths to make sure that happens. So just keep an eye on this story. It's interesting. Uh, who knows how many more associates we didn't know um, Jeffrey Epstein had that are about to commit suicide or whatever. Anyway, that's my video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, if you should support my channel because I'm demonetized, uh, links down below. And that's that. So comment, share, subscribe. Until the next video, Roger Trout.